Brolin. So do that, yeah, while you're sitting there, do that. Like fixing yourself, like, you know what I'm saying? Rolling, rolling. Then you're just room. Sporting touch of hands. Round number one. There's that fast start. I'm a no born in the Bronx, raising data. Been in the city since Pit had braids. But hop on the parties, but I know how to sneak me out. Now with seven figure meetings every day, we need a house. It's game time, the game's mine, you know the vibe. Yo, yeah, how a new and that'll rep in 305. Welcome, everybody, to episode 89. Wow. Of Don't Blink Podcast. 89? You know I got the kid in the building. Oh, you know we in here. 89 deep, baby. Bro, listen, I ain't gonna lie. What's up? You see this? Uh huh. Proud of us, dog. Oh, yeah, I'm proud. 89 episodes in a row. Oh, yeah. Every Tuesday, 7 30 p.m. YouTube, you already know what time it is. Yeah, and you can also hear it on Apple Podcasts. You can hear it. Tell Alexa, hey, Alexa. That's right. Put on the Don't Blink podcast. That's right. And she's going to hit you with that whoopty right there. ASAP. Hell yeah. Hey, man. Uh, another dope thing is we've had 89 dope guests. Hell yeah. Or and about 80 because we had a couple of repeat guests, which yeah. is dope too. Um, and today we got another dope guest. Hell yeah. Uh, we got an up and coming model. Oh yeah, doing the thing, doing the thing. Young lady, can't big wait things. to hear her story. Yeah, I know she's doing some big things. Rocking. We got Liv Margray in the building. Oh yeah. yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, Liv? What's up, Liv? <laughs> How you doing, girl? <laughs> good, good. Look, get you. It's situated right there. Liv is in the building. You know what I mean? She come very, very far. She came from West Palm. From West Palm. You How was traffic I mean? coming on? Um, it was fine. Yeah. It was it was okay, but yeah. it was like a an hour and twenty away. Yeah. yeah, shit. Yeah, I mean we've we've had like three what? hours. What? I had some. We've had somebody drive for like three hours. We've yeah. had people take Am flights. Am I supposed to hear it in here? I don't hear it. Yeah, no. no. Uh, he'll hit you up. He he's doing it as we go along. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. He yeah. That, that's DJ Rex right there. We're, this is our 89th show, but we're still learning shit ourselves here. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, thank you so much for joining us, man. Of course. Thanks yeah. for having me. Of I'm course. excited to be here. Yeah, no, it's awesome to have you here. And um, I was thinking right now, West Palm, what, what's that street? Uh, Calamit? Cala- what is it? Clematis. Clematis. Clematis Street. Yeah. yeah, right? That's where you party at, right? Um, Are you old enough to party? You look yeah, young I'm as 21. hell. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we, well, we're going to get into the story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're going to yeah, get yeah. to her story yeah. and her backstory and see, you know what I'm saying, what she's been doing and what she got coming up in the near future. Absolutely. But what was it, that street? Collateral? No, Clematis, right? Clematis. Oh, okay. What is that? Like the strip out there in West Palm? Yeah, because there's not much stuff out there, you know? So there's like a few areas that like everyone goes to. Ah. So let's get into that. So uh, did, were you uh, born and raised in West Palm? Yeah. Okay. And you went to school out there? Okay. And, and um, let me ask you, so you're, you're, you're modeling right now, right? That's how you're, you're making your living is, is modeling? Modeling, and I also have a makeup line. Okay, nice. Oh, yeah, nice. And how's the? How, how did you come about the makeup line? Um, well, I was in high school. I was sixteen, and um, I used to get eyelash extensions. And, like, I had an allergic reaction to them, like, really bad. Like, I literally almost went blind. Oh, shit. Yeah. And everyone in school would always, like, ask me, like, oh, like, where did you get your lashes and stuff? Um, and I was like, okay, honestly, I should just make them because... So now you could go to livemargaret.com. <laughs> Margaret Cosmetics. Okay, there you oh, go. Nice. There we go. There we go. Playing sports. Yeah, sports. The um, I feel like I tried everything when nice. I was young. Like, you know, I was... I did, like... Um, like gymnastics everything there but I was go. always into like makeup and like I'd wear wigs when I was literally oh, like shit. <laughs> three <laughs> playing dress up playing dress yeah, up and I would like, make like little like um like fake videos and stuff on my mom's computer and like phone when I was like literally young like always so I've always just been into like being in front of the camera like literally since I was like young so that's yeah, awesome, that's awesome. Uh, yeah yeah and, and, and she's uh, still young, so it's like it's young in the sense of like this new technology vibe. You know what I mean? Exactly. So she's she's been. You don't know what Atari is. You know what Atari is? Isn't that like a little video game? game thing? It's okay, it's a video 80s. game. Okay, it's a video yeah. game. Think you, okay. Now I'm dating myself. That was like my first video game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and um, so let me let me ask you when you when you first like okay so like in high school. Were you like, you know, how'd you, how'd you start doing what you're doing now? Was it like through Instagram? Was it like through Twitter? Yeah, well, when I was in high school, basically um, everyone in my school was like buying them because I was wearing them and promoting it in high school. Like I was just driving around kind of, like dropping it off at people's houses. Doing a real hustle. Yeah, yeah literally. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I started, I would do a lot of social media, but right now, like my main, like, way of getting people to know about my cosmetic business is TikTok, like fully, 100%. Really? 
Yeah, they yeah. Really, nice. You know what? We got to get on TikTok. We got to have Don't Blink on TikTok. Man. Yeah, TikTok for real. TikTok is crazy. Like, it blows people up always. No so. shit. And, and what, what what can... Do you remember what was, like, the, your first video that really, like, hit, yeah. the, hit the roof? Um, actually, it was this girl who... Uh, she actually had bought my stuff, and she was, like, always wearing them. Cool. And she made, like, some, like, transition... Shout out Zoe, if she's watching. Uh, oh, shout yeah. out Zoe. Zoe yeah. <laughs> um... But yeah, she was like a loyal client, I guess. You know, like literally I yeah, barely yeah. knew her, but she was always buying my stuff. And um, she posted like a transition video just wearing, like she had no makeup and then makeup. And it got like millions of views and stuff. Oh, and like shit. literally it like sold everything out. Like it was crazy. And that's what things started taking off for you? Yeah. That's awesome. And it started taking off where? Like on your cosmetic line? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's yeah, awesome. yeah. Wow. That's awesome. I know recently we just had Swim Week, Miami Swim Week, not yeah. too long ago. I heard you were a big part of that. Yeah, I, was, yeah. I walked Miami Swim Week. It was yeah. really cool. Was it Would your you? first time? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Tell us all about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, I never, like, thought I would be in runway. Literally yeah, yeah, ever. Yeah. I'm so short. Like, I'm literally 5'2". <laughs> so I was like, oh, there's no way. Like, I'll ever, you know? But heels, you're like 5'6". Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, maybe. I don't even know. <laughs> Probably not. But literally, um, yeah, like, my friend was just like, oh, like, I'm having, like, my, or there's a casting. You should just go. And I showed up. Um literally not even thinking I had to like practice a walk. Like I've never even practiced like a model walk in my life. <laughs> Damn. Literally ever. I had no clue. So I get there and then like, um, I didn't even know I had to wear heels either. So I came in like literally like Yeezy foam runners, <laughs> like the Crocs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, shit. Shit. Everyone was wearing heels and I was like, oh my God, I have to wear heels. Like I had no clue. So I had to borrow this girl's heels that were too big for me, but I had to like tie them on. It wow. was so bad. No, it'll tell me yeah, one of those girls up. with your toes hanging over the front of the heel. <laughs> <laughs> literally, they were, they were too big. Um, yeah, and then I literally just, I did it and then um, I got it somehow. That's awesome. Thank God. That's Damn, awesome. hell yeah. It no, but really shout out to her too for letting you borrow yeah, them shoes, bro. That was some cool too. shit. <laughs> For real, and, and who's all whose stuff were you modeling at the uh, during Swim Week? Um, uh, it was a brand called Tony Visions. Oh, I know Tony Visions. I, I oh, actually. Oh, whoa, 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 he's want to kiss you. Hey, 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 hey. What? I actually uh, first time I ever walked a runway was for Tony Visions. So really? What? Yeah, like two years ago. Yeah. Hold oh, up, wow. though. We'll, we'll put that picture of me in swimwear there. Hey. <laughs> it was Tony Visions, and then this other brand. Uh, her. It was called like um, Zoe All Over. Oh, Zoe. dope, ah, dope, dope, dope. Hell yeah. yeah. And where, where, where was where was the hell that? Where'd you do it? Um, it was at the Hard Rock. Oh, the shit. guitar. Oh, nice. At um, like they turned the you know the nightclub dare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They turned that into like a runway. runway. Oh, they shit. put like a glass thing. It was really cool. How'd you feel walking a million oh people? Oh my god, I was staring. so scared. <laughs> but like right when I started walking, like I had like so like it gave me so much like adrenaline, yeah, like, a, adrenaline. a sense of confidence and shit. Yeah, yeah I was like, awesome. oh my god, I love this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, so so which how did you how did you rip the runway? Right, because there's there's several ways that you could have walked it, right? Like, yeah, there is. I right? just you, did it. <laughs> you <were> just like, <laughs> I just walked. I mean, I think I did pretty good. I hope so. Uh, yeah. No, it looked dope. I'm yeah. pretty sure it looked dope. For sure. We're going to put that up here right yeah, now. Yeah, hell too. yeah. Yeah, there's like a lot of videos. So. <laughs> hey, and let me ask you, what, what, what's your background? Like, with like nationality? Um, I'm Russian, German, and South African. Oh. What? Yeah. Damn, everyone always says that. Did you it's do a the, weird mix? Did you do like the, that, just how I did it. What? Yeah. <laughs> it's a weird mix. How'd you find that out? Did you do like this 23 and me? Or, or no, you got, my family just. Yeah. So you got South African, South yeah. African family? But my mom was actually born in Africa. Oh, no shit. Yeah. No shit. Where? Like Cape Town or something? No, but she was born in Zambia. Zambia. Oh, Zambia. She was actually born in North Africa. Okay. But. Um, because her my her my grandpa was like traveling and stuff, so like she was born there. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And and so and then your family came from from Africa over here. Your mom? Yeah, my mom. She moved here when she was like twenty something. Oh, my wow. dad was from New York though. Okay, he was he was a lot closer to Florida. Yeah. Than yeah. She was. <laughs> That's awesome. And uh, what do you got like what, what do you got popping now? What's 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 new? Or do you work on your like cosmetic line on a daily basis? Yeah, I do my makeup line. I do modeling. Um, I've actually been managing some like OnlyFans models. Okay, yeah, we wanted to get into that uh -huh. too. Yeah. I, I've had a few people that tell me like, "Yo, you need to get your OnlyFans." I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> and now we're gonna get the inside scoop. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start cooking with a towel on. Or something. <laughs> hey, you see, those are the, some of the ideas right there. Yeah. And so, how, how's it going with managing the OnlyFans? Um, it's it's actually good. Like, um, I'm just helping a lot of girls like you know get into it like know how to do it type right. thing 
Right. It's cool. And, and and let me ask you for for content for OnlyFans or just content period. Do you like shoot content on a daily basis? Yeah. 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 Your content is king. You got to stay on top of that. Yeah, exactly. I try to do like a lot of photo shoots like every week, like professional photo shoots. And yeah. then, you know, I'll just try to make content like by myself, like every day, you know. And what goes into managing OnlyFans? Uh, yeah, like what goes uh, into like the management people for sure. <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> um, what goes into it? Um, yeah, clearly we have to have like photo shoots and things like that, right? Yeah. Like, well, I'm like I I help like an agency, so like okay. I'm not like I'm not like the agency. I'm yeah, just right. like helping. Okay, the gotcha. agency. Are, are you part of this agency too? They manage yeah. you. Okay. Okay. Are you are you have your only your only fans also? Yeah. Okay. Your own OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. And uh, let me ask you, where has um where has modeling taken you? You got you've been around the world with modeling anywhere? Have you traveled? Anywhere? Um, I I travel not around the world yet, <laughs> but um I travel like in the United States. Okay, like, dope. I go. I'm actually going to Minnesota. It's I know Minnesota. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Minnesota. Um, I'm going to Minnesota on like the thirtieth. Okay, dope. but yeah, I go to Minnesota because there's a photographer out there that I work with, and I worked with some brands out there, New York, you know, California. Yeah, nice. We got a we, we Minnesota, have a Minnesota sounds cool, bro. It is cool. It yeah. actually is cool. So you've been there before? Yes, many yeah. times. So what, how is Minnesota? Minneapolis, mm-hmm. Minnesota. Though. How is Minnesota? Um, it's cold, very cold in the winter quiet. for sure. I went in the winter. <laughs> oh, shit. I did a photo shoot in like negative twenty degrees. Oh actually. shit! It was cool though. That's crazy. Um, but Minnesota you didn't last. Cool. Out, you didn't last mall. a long time outside, huh? You didn't last a long time outside. Um, that was like an in and out thing. But ha- like, no, hurry I up and get the shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right, we're gonna go outside, right? Hurry up and get the shot. One, no, I two. I had to be there for like at late, like maybe five to ten minutes. Oh shit! It was cold. Let me think. Hey, you know that. It was cold. It was cold, right? Yeah. It was freezing. At least your feet, for sure. I had like fluffy things on my feet, though. Oh, okay, cool. Oh. Hell yeah, you survived. I think I would have lasted <laughs> if my feet were barefoot. Like, like my girl's sandals over there? Yeah, <laughs> real fluffy. No, more fluffy. The whole thing was fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> like some Russian sandals. Hey. hey um, what are some dope photographers you worked with before? Um, well, Wally, who's here today. Wally. Oh, Wally. Wally. Don't play, Wally. boy. We've been working together since I actually started my okay, business. He's literally like a main reason it's even anywhere because he's awesome. helped with everything. Awesome. Um, Tristan, he's another photographer that I work with a lot. Um, Yuli, sh- uh, she's in Minnesota. My name is Yuli. Yeah. <laughs> Your name's Yuli? Yeah, U-L-Y. Uh, hers is U- Y-U-L-I. Why you lie? Why you lie? Why? Hey, why you lie, baby? Why you lie, baby? We're gonna, we're gonna have to speak on that. <laughs> That's funny. That's dope, man. So, so it's like Wally and Tristan and and Yuli. They help you with like content creation, also, or you just they they shoot for you and you put it together. Yeah, hello, Wally. Um, Wally, Wally, you shoot. That's you, Wally. Damn, where your camera? It's day off. It's day off. It's day off. Nah, he probably got the iPhone 12, baby. That's the new. Uh, that's the new. He hit didn't bring thing. his camera today, but it's okay. Yeah. Um, he usually has it. Where is it? I'm kidding. <laughs> that's what I was saying. Um, Just don't blink, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, they definitely help with content. But I'm very like a creative director type person. I like to creative direct like shoots like that I have in my head and stuff. So I do a lot of creative directing. But like Wally, he'll do like a lot of the like. Um, he does all my like video editing. Like I yeah, don't know how yeah, to do yeah. any of that, so he'll do like all of that. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Hell yeah! And he's here rocking and rolling. I'm saying, Absolutely, giving that yeah. support. Yeah. Well, Wally, yeah. Wally might be the next guest on Don't Blink, man. What's yeah, up? you know what I mean. We had a uh, we had a guy, uh, Mike Orangutan. I know you probably heard of him. Oh, he's, he's a photographer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We yes. had him on a couple of weeks ago. Cool, oh. cool dude. Yeah, he does some dope and so, great story. Uh, orangutan, too. if you're looking, we got a new model. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You say you work on your cosmetic line on a daily basis. Is that like Amazon or is it straight from your no, website? No, it's straight from my website. Okay. So you got to go, what is it again? What, what Margaretcosmetics.com. Margaretcosmetics. Wow. And then what, what cosmetics, what pieces do you actually have? Because yeah, there's a lot. The, the eyelashes yeah. started. Yeah. The the eyelashes. eyelashes. And, and I have eyelashes. I have contact lenses. Like What? Yeah. I have like colored ones because I'm also into like changing my eye colors. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you ever wear like different color uh, one on each eye? 
Um, I've done like one blue. Oh yeah, like one blue, but not like blue and like green or something. <laughs> I fooled a lot That's of people. Corny. I fooled a lot of people back in high school. I would wear like blue contacts. They're like, but what are you wild? Oh really? But, yeah. He has uh, and then I, right here. Then right here. Then. <laughs> and then I flipped it in reverse. That I would wear. I would wear like some hazel ones and shit, so I could get light eyes. Well, I would get all the girls during the light I, eyes. I face. hear you, sexy. You know what I mean? Just sometimes <laughs> if I wear my blue ones and I'm like somewhere, no one knows me. I'm like, yeah, they're real. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, that'd be dope for like a like a music. Uh, like a not a music they got like a like an ultra music festival you could wear the blue lashes and stuff mm. you know? uh, um i heard did you do something with andrew tate oh um <laughs> like what do you mean oh i don't know i just i, I know he's 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 here on, on the bio i see the name andrew tate what would you guys uh um well i went on um a podcast that he was okay, on dope. um yeah like I was just on a podcast that he was on, but I, I did like a little funny thing. I, <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> so, um, one of the clips of like us kind of went viral. Like it was, uh, me talking about like my relationship, like how it ended. And he was kind of like being not rude, but he was just like saying, Oh, like it ended because of this, but it, yeah, I don't know. It was like a weird clip. He was yeah. trying to be like a, like a counselor or something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Phil? And it kind of went viral, so like I. Um, what did you say? I'm curious what you say. Yeah, what did I say? Yeah. Um, well, I was basically just like, um, I was saying that my boyfriend thought I was cheating on him because he found out that um, because I was cheating on him. <laughs> he thought kidding. I was cheating on him. He thought I was cheating on him because I like you know like when you're in the talking stages of a relationship and you're not like loyal to each other, right? Type thing. Um, like we just had met type thing, but I was like still talking to my ex at the time or something yeah. like that. And he like found out like a year later and he thought like I was cheating. I don't know. It was a weird situation. Oh, but that was just, but that happened in the beginning and yeah, then it stopped. Exa exactly. Ah, yeah. 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 And, and, and a year later, it, it and then a year, the year later, he showed he up found out. and it ended the relationship because of that. Um, or just, Somewhat, he just got, like got he toxic. ended it, but we got back together. Right. Uh -huh. But we're we're not together. But whatever. Anymore. Then you got on the podcast. You said some shit. Woo 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 woo. That shit went viral. Yeah. And then, no. And what, what did Andrew Tate tell you? He, he oh, was, he was just like, oh, so you were cheating on him. You did cheat because you were entertaining <laughs> someone else. And that went viral. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. because uh, Andrew Tate right now everything is yeah. doing is going viral. It's like a longer backstory, um, but. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a tattoo of his name, but it was fake. So you had like, a tattoo of whose name? The 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 boyfriend of Andrew got... Tate. Oh, you oh. did. Yeah. So basically, I went to a tattoo shop and um, they were gonna give me a tattoo, but I was like, oh, I don't really want a tattoo. And then um, they said they do like temporary tattoos, yeah, like for fun, so I can just put like anything on it. And then my friend was like, you should do Andrew Tate. So I did Andrew Tate, and I posted a video, and everyone thought it was real. So I just like was like, wow. okay, it's real. <laughs> oh, shit. And yeah, he thought it was real too. It was really funny. Um, but yeah, basically. That was definitely the don't blink moment right there. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, for sure. Hey, but, don't but, blink, but let me ask boy. You, so when you're doing, so be, obviously you did the Andrew Tate, um, the, the tattoo before you went on this podcast. Then you did this podcast. Was it all the same day? No, no, no. I went on his podcast. I went on the podcast first. First, okay. yeah. And then she did the tattoo. Oh, yeah. But shit. that was like months yeah. later. Oh, no shit. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah. The, the Andrew Tate conversation went viral and then that tattoo thing went viral yeah. itself. Oh, shit. Yeah, he yeah. called yeah. feelings and everything. He was like, he got a, she got yeah, a tattoo yeah. of my I, name. I'm, she loved I, me. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, fly to... Um, Romania or something. What? <laughs> Don't blink. Oh, shit. Yeah, because Andrew Tate's been blowing up lately. I mean, he just, to me, popped up out of nowhere, but that's how usually it works on social media. There, people get hot for like a couple months and then... Yeah, but Liv, just, out. Liv just hit him with a whoop though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, real. a lot of people were mad at me because they were like, oh my God, why would you do that? That's like horrible. Like, you support him type thing, um, you know? Yeah, because he, 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 from what I hear, he speaks a lot on like... Uh, like um, like he 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 fucks with women a lot. Misogynistic, right? He does. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, he's. Uh, I mean, I don't think he's like misogynistic. I'm not sure if he is because I don't know like too much. But I know he definitely says some like out of pocket things. Okay, okay, yeah. Because I'm not, the only thing I've ever heard him talk about. He, he did some shit where like he was he wanted he was calling out Jake Paul or Logan Paul or something. But I never heard him speak anything else besides that. So I don't know. And then you said only in date this time with him. No, 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 no. Oh, with the, the podcast. The podcast she was yeah, on. Yeah, the, the podcast she was on. Yeah, yeah. Got you. All right. Yeah. All right, All right. cool. Shout out to him. Yeah. You just got Don't Blink. Congratulations. Right, Welcome yeah. to the Letter Rip Season 3. And Andrew Tate, come on here. You know what? I'm yeah, I'm Andrew Tate, out, come on here. Yeah, I'm calling out Andrew Tate right now for a fight. I know he's a fighter. Let's go, baby. Oh, <laughs> damn. 
Um, and, and the girls, the girls that you were saying earlier that that, that you help manage, do you? Um, are you like part? Where do you, do you get any percent? Yeah, yeah, like any a kickback residual off that. They make money on OnlyFans. Uh, yeah. So okay. I take a percentage. Okay, dope. From each girl. Dope, dope. So when you, yeah, so you bring them to the agency, they sign them up, but yeah. you're you're under co-management right there. Yeah, I just help like you know. Um, make them feel comfortable and like help them like have content ideas and help them with content if they're in the area like i'll help them nice but your creative side that she got oh yeah That's damn like- so what's up what do i do do i open one what do you think i should open one <laughs> yeah they'll pay the pay for, they'll pay for to see this yeah exactly for me to change the color on it and shit like that right yeah i knew i grew this shit for something like this shit, <laughs> how much we gonna make how much i can say like 3.99 or like Three ninety nine. How does it work? How does it work? How does it work? <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> no, no, that's not enough. <laughs> that's not enough. That's what I'm I mean, saying. That, that's the type it. of man. See, <laughs> manage my stuff. How much will we put it for? I mean, you could have a free page and uh-huh. then like just sell stuff on on the free page to get people to just do it, like subscribe for free. Like it just depends. Nah, nah, nah. Keep telling me. Keep telling I, me. I, what I, else I, we could I, do? I think that'd be the way to go for you. You, you do yeah, a free page, free page. And, and then start selling your music or something on there. Start, we start selling yeah. Don't Blink uh, podcast episodes. Could we do that? Yeah. Yeah, you could do anything on there. I'm talking to our manager. What's up? Um, so, right, so we get the thing. We could do it for free and then have people subscribe. Right? That's one thing. Yeah, and it's free. They're just subscribing. Nah, and let's go to the selling. How can I sell, like, a, I, could, I got, like, leopard underwear, whatever. You know what I'm saying? What I, that's why I got it. You could sell paid messages mm. or paid, fe- uh, like, shout outs and shit. You can post on the feed and make it paid so they can't see it unless you pay. Oh, shit, though. <laughs> you can do paid lives, so they have to join the live and pay. Mm. Off rip. Uh, yeah, Off rip, like, what, join it, exactly what they got to pay quick. Ooh, damn. And then I go direct deposit right there. Yeah. Oh, and then it gets split <laughs> into the. Uh, then it gets split into the. I still I, can't hear. Is that? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the headphones. Let me hold on. Let me get let Rex. Come over here, Rex. Fix her. What's going on? Check man? now. What's check that? now. See, can you hear me? No. No. I mean, okay. it's fine. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, maybe you could take one off. It'd be. If, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> And do you have anything coming up uh, like uh, in the next couple months? I don't know any more runway after you did this first runway. Um, I might. I I think there's like some art basil. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's art basil December, coming up. December. Uh, yeah, it's late November, early December. Yeah, yeah, it's, like it's coming. Is it coming already? Is the yeah. end of August already? By the letter rip. Right. Quick question. Oh, New York Fashion Week, but I'm not oh. sure if I'm running doing it yet. That's but I'm gonna ah, try. That's dope. One one question that we actually. Um, well, a few questions that we've asked all our guests ever since we started this podcast. We've uh, we're about to go into our second year already. Again, this is episode eighty nine. Um, we've always. I wanted to ask you, when did you open your cosmetics line? Um, I started when I was sixteen. I'm twenty one now. Okay, boom, right there. That's enough. Five years. How was it during when COVID? How was it during COVID when that happened and running your business? It actually was better. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look at awesome. that. That's when, like, my shit... Can I curse? Yeah, oh, yeah okay. you can say what you want in this um, shit. That's when Fuck it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's when it started actually doing more well. Yeah. So. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's I, awesome. I, I'm pretty... Um, the yeah. majority of all our guests, we've all that's had, like, we've always said yeah. from the beginning of times, like, that COVID brought out, like, the inner hustler right. out of the hustlers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're a natural born... I think born, so, too, because everyone was kind of home trying to figure out what they should do. They had more time. Right. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so, when we started booming the eyelashes, baby. Hell yeah. Especially and, for online, uh, everything. Everything course. did better online. Of course. Yeah, but if yeah. you were like a restaurant, obviously. It yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, sure. and my, me and my wife's house, when we had one corner full of Amazon boxes from a <laughs> <laughs> oh through the whole pandemic. Yeah, exactly. Hey, um, well, I got another question for you that we've asked every guest that's been on this podcast. Oh, yeah, we're going to hit it with it. Yeah, this is the famous don't blink question. Do you believe in aliens? Yes. Yes? Damn, that was Tell pretty. Us, Why please. you asking that shit so fast? <laughs> yes. Because she's seen one. Yes, for real. <laughs> <laughs> she's 21. She's seen it already. Uh, why, why do you believe in aliens? Yeah, um, why? What's up? I just think that there has to be, like, something else out there, you know? Like, there's no way that we're, like, the only things yeah. here. That, 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 that usually, that's the usual answer. I'm not going to lie because uh, it's true. It's true. The galaxy's so big. How can we be the only ants on this ant farm here? You know? <laughs> No, for real. We've had one guest say, like, um, uh, if we aren't the only ones, like, that's scary, right? Like, if there is other things. Yeah. And if we are the only ones, that's, scary that's too. even scary, too. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, what does that mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, are we yeah. bars or are we not? Yeah. 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 I always tell everybody, I've seen aliens when I'm walking out of a club, like, at five in the morning. <laughs> <You saw> aliens? <laughs> huh? 
Wait. Yeah, when I'm walking out of the club at five in the morning, everybody looks like an alien <laughs> drunk. <laughs> <and> <laughs> 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 um, oh yeah. So, so well, I'm, I got my UFO waiting for me outside too. <laughs> Hell yeah! And then you know one thing that we also ask, you know, what I'm saying our guests is to leave us with like a motivational, you know, right, what I'm saying right. message type like, of vibe. Like if if you got a young Liv looking at you right now, looking at the show, what would you tell 16 year old Liv before she started her makeup? You know what 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 can we tell her or any young girl out there, you know, young person out there to to you know to try to continue what they're doing. Um, I basically just say to never give up no matter like even if you don't see results right away because sometimes people really want just like instant gratification. They think everything's supposed to just happen, you know, like right away, but it never does. So like just keep keep going. Don't give up and don't listen to people who tell you you can't do it. Right. Keep on keeping on. That's 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 true. That's true. Instant gratification is is, is a big thing now because everybody's on Instagram and. And you know, people only post what, you, what they want you to yeah. see. So yeah. Everybody thinks fake. everybody's balling. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Social media is so fake. I was literally just saying that. The other day. <laughs> it is. It is crazy. And uh, so let, let the people out there know where they can catch you, Liv. You can find me at Liv Margaret on all social media platforms. And I said, we're trying to find you today. You're private, right? Private? Are you private? I was your, private. Your Instagram was private. Oh yeah, um, she bougie, bro. She, you know what I'm saying? She yeah, famous sometimes already. Sometimes it's private because, like, if my team is doing Stalker. promotion, it's private. I don't know. All right, all right. So I was probably private today. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So, um, so live Margaret on on, on all... everything except TikTok. TikTok, I have two E's. Okay. Two E's. I, at the end, at the end, okay. Mar- <laughs> it's Margri. At the end. Margri. <laughs> okay. Okay. So find them. You know, find her on there. Buy some eyelashes, people. Yeah, MargaretCosmetics.com. That's there dope. You go. That's dope. And uh, thank you so much for being here. We yeah, truly appreciate thanks for it. Having me. I know it was a long drive, so we truly appreciate you coming down. Yeah, of course, yeah thanks, hell yeah. And, uh, and I, and I, you know, I got a 20 year old daughter who does makeup, so I'm gonna tell her about your stuff so she could uh, get uh, some eyelashes. You. Absolutely, oh, hell yeah! And I would say, um, are you ready for a don't blink competition? Oh, yeah, uh, oh, yeah, see. we're gonna put the eyelashes yeah, yeah, to the test yeah, right now. See. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, we're, we're always surprise every guest with huh. this. Oh, yeah, do yeah. I like have to like not blink or something? Yes, exactly. yeah, <laughs> exactly. it's like a staring contest. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's about to go ready. down. It's about to go Thank down. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Don't blink. <laughs> Podcast number eighty nine. Me the kid. Yes. Live Margaret. Oh yeah. Go buy her eyelashes. I know we got you. Got to drive back to West Palm, right? Yeah, but the, the ride back is shorter. Yeah, it's shorter. Yeah, for it's sure. probably shorter. For I mean, sure. I'm in Miami like literally every day. So. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah. Right, and but, like you, regular uh, Miami. This is like Kendall. Yeah, yeah exactly. this is like Kendall. Yeah, you're like in Wynwood. This is like Kendall, the Rao, Wynwood. This is everything. Let me tell you no more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know where we are. Yeah, we're yeah we don't know where we are. This is on this location. location. You got it. She got me here in a helicopter. Edit it out, edit it out. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching the oh, opening podcast. And if you see my OnlyFans, they won't manage it. You heard? So That's stay it. tuned. Yeah, thick agency. Yes. <laughs> what is it? Thick agency? Not thick. sick. Oh, nice. Thick. Thick. Oh, yeah, like. thick, thick. Oh, that's the opposite of me. Let's go. Cool. <laughs> but I got abs, though. <laughs> Don't blink. Don't blink. Thank you. Punch it. Punch it on the thing. What? Punch it. Oh. Pow. <laughs> oh, I think me and Two Nights got something great going on. We got some great guests coming up. It's going to be dope. We got some dope people that, that already you know signed up to do it with us, which is great. A lot of people show us love, and uh, it's because we love their back for sure.